Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 with yours truly load us into the map. Last time we rode a fair bit into this tunnel but uh, reloading came with checkpointy things kinda made me have to do that again. Because, you know, checkpointy things. Which are silly. I don't like checkpointy things. Unless they're the checkpoint podcast which was a lot of fun to be on on both attempts. So, hi. We're going to the Tree of Life. It's a big bugger. You might remember it from the first one. It was... Something that gave the character visions back then, but this time I think its purpose is... different. In fact, I think its purpose is to give me a level. And then a cutscene. I didn't actually walk up to that door, did I? I don't think I did. But this wasn't part of the contract. And so you have come, bearing your sin like a badge of honor. What do you seek, pale rider? The return of mankind. <laughs> to a barren planet shorn of life. Oh, humans are weak. Simple. They would not survive this resurrection, nor do they deserve it. That is not ours to judge. I do this to spare war from the Council's punishment. And what of the Nephilim? Would you save but one and not the rest? The Nephilim are a threat to the balance. If we had taken Eden, none of this would have happened. Yet you rode against us, slaughtered our flesh, then bound our souls in your amulet. Who are you? I think you know. Once, you called me brother. Absalom. I have forsaken that name. Now, I am corruption. The day you raised your scythe against us, I was born. And soon, I will be all. The tree of life has fallen to my darkness. From withered root to fruitless limb. And even death himself will not escape it! What defines a soul? Some call it the spark within that fights the darkness, that burns for life itself. But what of death, who became the reaper on the day he slaughtered the Nephilim? He killed his brother, his comrades, and Absalom. Death! Why do you slay your own? The Nephilim have no claim to Eden. There are realms for angels and demons. Why not for us? Eden belongs to man. It belongs to those who take it! The Eons have not answered the question. <laughs> Was it worth it? Brother. That one moment. <laughs> begot corruption. And crowned him Kinslayer. <laughs> the bitter victory could not be undone. Isn't it odd that so many have come here by your hand? <sighs> and yet you so rarely visit the dead kingdom. I had no plan to visit this wretched place. I sought the tree of life, I found it. Now I'm here. <laughs> the tree is no destination, my friend. Only a portal to other worlds. If the tree is what you seek, then you have arrived. 
that I have been betrayed. Hmm. Not so hasty. The tree is wise beyond imagining. If it brought you here, then here is where you belong. Perhaps I can help. Hmm. I doubt it. You would be wise to heed me. I have a merchant skill to grant your deepest desire. Tell me, Ryder, what do you seek? Hmm? I would redeem my brother, restore the balance. Hmm. Yes, I have heard the tale. Your brother rode, though no call was given, and mankind paid the price. Guard your tongue, merchant. I give no judgment, friend. Only pass on that which I have been told. You were right to seek the tree, but it is only the gateway. What you seek is the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls? The Well of Souls can restore humanity. And more! The Well channels the dead into this kingdom from every world. Above and below. It is also how souls are brought back into creation when they are ready to be reborn. What are you? still haven't said what you are. The history of my people was burned to ash along with our world. Forgotten even by those who <laughs> destroyed them. Now, only the smoke remains. We were not the first, nor will we be the last. It is the way of things. The way of things is balance. And what balances life? Nothingness. <laughs> or corruption. Eventually, it consumes us all. So it would seem. None of this explains what you're doing here. I am merely a humble merchant with a taste for the finer things. In life, and in death. I am Ostagoth, and it would amuse me to offer you my words. And this tree? Tree of life, tree of death, portals to other worlds. I know none of this. How is it I have remained so blind, or does your tongue only spit lies? Much was kept from the Nephilim, and from the Four. Why? Because power must be tempered with ignorance. If the Nephilim knew the true nature of the tree, all would have perished. I forsook the Nephilim, became a warrior for the balance, even killed my own people. I protect these worlds, you and the tree, yet still I remain in the dark. Forsaken, yes. Forgotten, no. The Nephilim live on in you. But what do I know? I am but a simple merchant. <laughs> How do I return? If I wish to return to the Forge Land. The Tree of Life has many portals, Ryder. Some may help you retrace your path. Many portals are closed, but the ones to the Forge Lands remains open. <laughs> All right, what do you have? Please, take a look. Brutal size. Ooh, I like the names of these. No, we don't want to buy them. We wish to look at it. The only way to look at these item stats is by clicking on them. Hmm. All right, what do we have in regards of these things? Nothing purple. Lots of purple gloves though, slayer bindings, defense, critical damage experience, guilt. Uh, uh. This is a straight up upgrade to what I have. Seriously, just just an upgrade. So that might be worth looking into, but I don't remember what item I actually acquire. What is this? Arcane health, health on execute, experience. Oh, it reduces the critical chance, it. which is not something I'm willing to consider. So uh, pretend that I believe you. Where should my search begin? 
You must scale the Serpent's Peak and summon the Eternal Throne. There, the Lord of Bones slumbers. He will guide you to the well, or he will have your soul. Before you go, Horseman, consider this. My people may be lost, but their relics yet remain. You may come across them in your travels. They are worthless to most, but valuable to me. Return them, and I will trade relic for coin. All right. Cool. Sure. That's a portal. That's the gate. Which is where um, our brother resides. The brother whom we'd rather slay should we face him again. Because we've already slain him once. Slain. Shiver. We don't want him around. This is no place for a horse. He's a butthole. That's the both of the Forgelands, so let's keep that as an option for when we actually need to go to the Forgelands. And now we can have a horse. Nice. Ride on, brother. Ride on, brothers and sisters. We enter the Craglands. I don't know where these artifacts are that we seek. So that is something to keep in mind. I don't even know what they look like. Hell, for all I know, they are made of chocolate. And are shaped like pudding. Which is kind of difficult to achieve. But you know, who knows, maybe their people were great craftsmen back in the day. Great craftsmen indeed. Greatest craftsmen. Greatest Scotsman in each. Ooh. I see you, coin. Get in. You're not a coin, you're a relic. Relic of Etugoth. A common relic of the house of Etugoth, a noble family with strong ties to magic. Sell this relic to Ostagoth for your reward. Also, it's pretty much like the uh, Legion stuff was back in the day. <laughs> Bum. I missed. I saw you, you little sandstormy thingy. Ooh, that's it now. Horseback crits are the best crits. Right, that doesn't look like a direction with stuff, so get the kill things and cross the bridge. I wish it was a rainbow bridge so we could go to Valhalla. Because, well, Odin is waiting for me. Hello. for me. Right. In the thingy. I can't actually sing. Why do I try? This is not even a question a song about well there's a cannon. <laughs> okay, never mind that. That was a silly situation. That was a very silly situation indeed. And then another series. Yeah, double crit. Like a pounce. Get back here. Gotta love those criticals. Gotta love them indeed. Okay, there is something here. A place I could enter. Or I could look around for more artifacts. Relics. Let's get out of that ditch. You don't need to be in that ditch. Oh, also, didn't we do this thing where we leveled up? Apparently we've leveled up twice even. Let's uh, upgrade the basic abilities of Teleport Slash so... 
the extras can leech off of that. I hope. Doom! So we have full explosiveness and full basic functionality for the Ripper Slash. That should be enough to get me by for a few more moments. Ride on, brother! No, I missed because I was riding on, brother. Oh. How much health do they have? Like. Looks like 1200. Yeah. Certainly does look like it. That's the way where uh, 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 it's supposed to go. Oh, I accidentally rolled right into him. Which apparently did enough damage to soften him up by like quite a bit. It only works when I'm charging things, so. Yeah. I guess we can head on. Then we can go explore that Tumi place we saw before. But first, ride on. No place for a horse. Get in the fortress. Oh, that's nice. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it looks nice. Right. Hello? Anyone seen anyone? Or is this just the way things are now? We're just gonna climb this thingy. Forever. With the endless abyss below us. And the less endless abyss in some other direction. I think I'm gonna go this way right now. I'm not entirely convinced. Hi. This is an empty room. That direction, on the other hand, is not empty. For some reason, I'm using the pistol again. It keeps happening. Come on. You can do this. No problem. I think we need an ability here, which you don't yet have. I seem to be greatly lacking in this ability. Ow! Alright then. I'm confused, where am I supposed to go again? Map. Do you know anything? The map knows nothing. I am supposed to be in this structure, right? I can't jump onto the wall, which is the problem. Why can I not wall write this? Well, now I'm dead because I can't actually jump in that direction. Which is frustrating as well. Ah, there we go. Now we could cross it. So I might find something here that actually allows me to do that. Yeah, this should be it. Bring it on, newlings. I thought there were 17 enemies, so... Oh. I'm not afraid of you. Plus, look at this. Teleport slash action deals a ton of damage now. Hmm. Executions are also a thing. Whoop. Oh, I'm being knocked back, so that's fun. Also taking damage, so that's fun. Why can't I use my abilities when not in an ideal position for using them? That's kind of annoying. This they should be able to 
find them up for later or something. Oh, that guy is taking selfies again. Is anyone dead? I think everyone dead. Each one of these doors has been opened. For the use of death. So this should take me right to that platform, right? So to a position that is relatively useless at a given time. Alright, that's good to know. This way then. Anyone seen anyone? Of course not. That'd be silly. What does this do? I don't actually have any idea. Ah, I see. Julio. No, I can't run around with corruption. I have to walk around with corruption. No? Nothing? That doesn't work either. No. Okay. So I could do it again. Then what does it do? Then this is a bridge. So, um. Why did he ever lower it again? Ah, I see. Because it's. evil. That's why we would lower it. The fight said evil. Or isn't it evil? It certainly looks evil. Apparently there is another course of action from over here. Which I might be able to take. But that's just chests for the look of it. And a portal which is not something I can still use. Which is still something I can't use even. Ooh, purples. What did I find? What did I find? Gif. Show me. Uh, it's certainly not this or this. It's not that. It's the sorcerer clubs. Yeah. No, that's not gonna give me anything helpful at all. It's good to have it, nonetheless. Alright, so... Where can I go from here? Down here? Yeah, but that's not gonna help. Was there another course of action? There may have been, but I'm not convinced. I'm gonna try this instead. Drop that. That's it there. Grab another just in case. Throw it on the ground. it on the ground. I'm not sure this is actually a pla functional plan. Apparently we can only have three from one deposit a cheek. So if this plan doesn't work, well... Whoops. Should work there, see? Let's shoot that. Are serious? Seriously, too far away. You can shoot one over there, then. Well, that worked. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. What a ship corner is, am I right? Because if I had this kind of ship, I would constantly have an erection. Seriously, it's not a joke. I really wouldn't have an erection. At every second, I was on my ship, or even if I was looking at my ship, this ship is awesome.